Welcome back to the week five college football playoff predictions and let's get started with our top 25 rankings and we will get into the New Year's Six Bowl predictions at the end. So in number 25th place, we've got Kansas State. The bubble team here would be Oklahoma, but of course I've got to give it to Kansas State here as they just won that thriller in Norman. Martinez has played better for this Kansas State team in that Oklahoma game. Uh, He was a little timid against Tulane a couple weeks ago. I think they've moved past that, and this could be a good Kansas State team moving forward. Number 24, we've got the 4-0 story of the season. I'm sure everyone's heard all about it. Kansas getting the win over Duke. They were able to cover for us in our betting locks. You can check those out in the top right after you watch this video. But let's get to number 23, Minnesota crushed Michigan State, which led to them being ranked. They're 4-0. That's their only real win, and Michigan State just does not look like a good football team for that reason. I had to bring down number 22 now, Washington. They were sitting at about 11 last week, but due to this Michigan State win being greatly diminished by Minnesota also walking all over them, I had to move Washington down. Washington did get a nice home win against a poor Stanford team as well. So they stay undefeated at 4-0. Number 21, Florida State nabbed a win over Boston College to stay in the rankings. Number 20, Washington State drops three spots after a close game with Oregon. They really should have won this one, but choked it in the end. It was at home, though, so they get a little less credit than they would have. So they will stay ranked, but we'll have to watch for their schedule they get usc in a couple weeks so we'll see what they can do in that one if they are not able to take that one i think they could fall out of the rankings relatively quickly here number 19 we've got wake forest who put up a thriller against clemson they only drop a couple spots but wow wake forest really could have won that game multiple times in multiple ways and it's just a tough loss at home against a good clemson team this Wake Forest team is going to be good, and no better way to bounce back than with a game against ranked Florida State next week, as you can see, 21 versus 19 in my rankings. Number 18, we've got Utah, who just walked over Arizona State in their first game without Herm Edwards at the helm this season. Then number 17, Arkansas, was the victim of an unfortunate field goal kick off the top of the upright. That was just a weird game with that Texas A&M return for the touchdown on the fumble recovery. So I think Arkansas was the better team than Texas A&M, but some of the stuff was fluky. And I like their chances to keep it close this week against Alabama at home with the bounce back effect. As you can see, they've got a showdown with number three, Alabama there. Then moving into the middle eight teams, we've got number 16, Texas A&M moves up a plethora of spots after their win over Arkansas. But I keep those two teams close to each other because it was a very close game. Number 15, we've got Baylor just beat Iowa State last week, and they've got a showdown with Oklahoma State at home. I think Baylor's got a great chance at that one. Speaking of Oklahoma State, they stay at 13, which is a move down for them by about four spots as they were idle last week. Number 14, BYU was able to take care of business against a sneaky Wyoming team out of the Mountain West. And then number 12, Penn State was able to take care of business against their MAC opponent this week. Then number 11, Ole Miss had a tough time with Tulsa in that game, but they were able to get it done. So they preserved their perfect record and they have a big showdown this week with Kentucky who has continued to look worse as a team. So I think this could be a very interesting matchup in the SEC conference play. Number 10, USC moves down a couple spots after they almost lose to Oregon State. And Oregon jumps USC because of that aforementioned win at a good Washington State team. Of course, they do have the loss, but that was to a Georgia team that I don't really think anyone is going to come close to this season. But Kent State did give them a pretty good game on Saturday. Number eight, 
we move on to the top eight and number eight is nc state who has a showdown with clemson this week the reason for the boost is not their win this week which was pretty cupcake in nature but last week they beat texas tech who went on to beat texas so that improves their resume overall of course they have that close win over ecu but kind of have to put that in the back burner as it was the first game of the season at this point if they had the blemish i'd treat it differently of course but many of these top 10 teams have had some close games number seven clemson obviously got that great win over wake forest as we already talked about so they move up because of that kentucky moves down a couple spots just because of other teams jumping them like tennessee who got that great win over florida at home it will be interesting to see when they host alabama in a few weeks what will happen in that game and number five we've got michigan who took care of business against maryland but it was a little closer than many would have thought as maryland put up a fight against them number two ohio state cruised against wisconsin to preserve their number two spot there and then number one georgia aforementioned beat kent state at home so moving into the bowl predictions so the one seed's going to be georgia two ohio state three alabama and then four clemson obviously i can't put tennessee in because tennessee and alabama will play alabama and georgia do not play in the regular season so if both are 12 and 0 or something or maybe one is 11 and 1 and they play in the sec championship then both could plausibly make it. The only reason I jump Clemson up instead of Michigan is just because Michigan would have to play Ohio State at the end of the season, obviously. So it would be hard for two Big Ten teams to get in unless it was something like a Minnesota, but I don't even think their schedule is good enough to have that happen. In the Rose Bowl game, aforementioned Michigan would play Oregon, who I have out of the Pac-12. Then in the Cotton Bowl, this is an interesting one. I've got USC is the at-large against Cincinnati. I don't really know which group of five team to put here. It would have been an easy two-lane if they had won, but they lose to Southern Miss, so that ruse the day for them because they already have the win over Kansas State, but that loss is just so bad since he already has a loss but it was to a good arkansas team in the orange bowl we've got nc state against kentucky and finally in the sugar bowl we've got oklahoma state against tennessee thank you for watching please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the college football videos